Hey, what's up guys, what's up guys? All right, today I'm going to transplant a June plum tree. If you notice, the container is pretty small. This, this is a dwarf. This is a dwarf June plum. But if you notice, you're going to see it already have a um, blossom. As you can see, as what I've learned, I've learned that this can self-pollinate which is awesome and the leaf of the june plum is very tasty some people eat them as salad some people eat them in their dishes but i know they're very tasty because i've tasted it myself so what we're gonna do today we basically want to and put it in a bigger pot the reason for that is this pot is, is way too small and you want more production. If this pot is big, what's going to happen is going to have even way more flowers because it's going to push more roots. And because it pushes more roots, it stands a chance of getting bigger. I really want to put it into a half a drum, but right now I'm going to just put it in a container that can basically house it for this year. How you doing guys? What's up? What's up? This is actually the container I'm going to put it into. I have my rain water already. This is my rain water. So basically, I also have some dots that I have taken from my garden. So let's let's do this okay so let me see shout out to everyone thank you all shout out to all the supporter of planter garden tv what's up g mama grows what's up how are you doing thank you for being here i'm actually transplanting this june plum is a tropical plant but you got to take it indoors, maybe in a greenhouse in the fall. So right now it's doing pretty well. And I just want to make sure I put it in a bigger pot at least for this year. So if I put it in a bigger pot for this year, I stand a chance of receiving more fruits from this small dwarf tree. Yes. All right, so let's do this, guys. First of all, okay. so as you see, guys, this is it right here. This is the root of it right there. If you notice around there, not sure if you've seen, but you're going to see new white roots start pushing out which is awesome these new white roots showing that this is actually start growing but problem is so this is what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna put this into a bigger pot that can strive better next year i might put it in a half a drum but right now i'm just gonna put it in a bigger pot right at this moment This is our bigger container. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it down inside here. We want to make sure we, 
Thank you, thank you. Yes, we want to make sure that we put it pretty straight. This is an old container that I have. It's a pretty old container. But guess what? It's going to hold it for this. I'm going to click and I'm going to put it and just let it relax for this year. All right, so I want to put it straight. So as you see, I already put some soil, so I'm going to continue putting the soil around it. Then I'm going to wet it with some rain water. So just like this. Just like this. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But Alright, so now let me show you what I know. Hey guys, this is the June plum. And as you see, all the flowers. So it's getting ready to produce fruits this year all right sorry for the signal guys i remove it from this part which i know it was definitely too small this is a pear tree as well that i remove and i put into bigger parts it's very important for a big container so now this is what we now did here what we did transplant this into a bigger pot so now we stand the chance of getting a bigger plant put out more leaf put out more flowers for this garden season so how are you guys doing today what's going on man so what i'm going and do now i'm going and wet it with some rain water I mean, you could wear it however you use whatever you have, guys. I just love using rainwater. If you don't have rainwater, you just use what you have. But I just love that. So now I soak that. I soak this and I'm not going to wet it anymore until maybe the ending of the week. All right, because it's not that hot outside and it's still chilly. So you don't want to be over wetting them. And they, also what I've learned, they love their roots to be wet and then drain. They don't love their room to be soaking wet. So yes, guys, this is what we did. We now transplant a June tree life. I just want to say guys thank you all again for your support i truly appreciate each and every one thank you g mama for coming to appreciate you you guys have a blessed and wonderful day